Thank you. Uh, so going to jump right in. Can you um, explain the significance um, on your expedition? You and Laurel will be the first ISS increment to have an all-female U.S. crew. Yeah, I think that's something, one, incredibly exciting that I'm flying with Laurel in the first place. We're uh, good friends and, and classmates um, from uh, when we were selected in, in 2017. She's someone I certainly look up to uh, and to share this experience with her. It's really incredible. And um, I think the other aspect that's really important is, again, for the next generation to see that and realize that this this door is open to them as well. Awesome. And at, at our museum, at the International Women's Air and Space Museum, we try to encourage girls to be interested in STEM education. Uh, did you have a particular mentor when you were growing up that got you interested in STEM fields? I was pretty naturally interested in, in STEM fields, but I will say uh, I do remember in high school, I loved physics and, and me and one of my other classmates especially loved physics. And so first we took honors physics, then we took our first AP physics and we just wanted more. And this teacher um, would stay after school and meet with us to have more physics lessons, uh, just particularly for me and this other student. So that was something that um, they didn't have to do, but they went out of their way to do and really stuck with me. Sounds pretty special. Uh, we also, we have a, an annual STEM conference for young girls. And what kind of advice would you have for those young girls who might be interested in a career in aerospace? First off, um, we need you um, and you belong here. So if this is something you're interested in, I really hope you pursue it because um, something I've learned is when you have um, diversity of thought in the room, it is extremely valuable and um, it's just by virtue of we as humans uh, experience the world in different ways and th those experiences shape how we think about things and so um, having women in the room is extremely important um, so so please come join us awesome um, and you were a helicopter pilot in the Marines before your selection as an astronaut. So uh, one of the things at our museum is we have collection items for the Whirly Girls. So I'm wondering, are you a member of the Whirly Girls? You know, I, I am not a member. I am not an official member of the Whirly Girls. And I should, I definitely should become one. I have not, I have not done that yet. But I have uh, been to the um women in aviation international um, conferences in the past. And that's something I've really, really enjoyed. Awesome. Uh, this year we're celebrating 40 years since Sally Ride's first flight. I wonder if you can reflect on those past feats of the early woman astronauts and any kind of influence that they might've had on you. Yeah, I think something that um, has become uh, more, something I've become more aware of since I've been here uh, and thought back to, you know, as a as a child, why was it that I connected with certain people, vice others? Um, it's it's really important to have someone that, in some way, um, you can connect with, whether they look like you, or it's because they're a woman like you, or they have a similar background to you. Um, so, you know, for me. Valentina Tereshkova was who I did a, did a book report on uh, in sixth grade. And that was the start of, of this dream to becoming an astronaut. So, you know, for all, all the women that came, um, came before me, Sunny Williams is a big role model of mine. And I'm really hoping uh, to see her in space uh, on the first crewed Starliner flight. Uh, and all those people have made me realize that, that I can do this as well. And I hope to just carry that on. Awesome, yeah. Sunny actually was born right near our museum in Euclid, Ohio. Uh, so hello to Sunny. <laughs> um, I didn't know that. Yes, and she's been born a couple of times. And, uh, and one other question. So are you gonna be playing guitar up on ISS? I am hoping to play the guitar on ISS. I've actually been on a bit of a hiatus since training has been in, uh, so intense. So I'm hoping to pick it back up uh, on ISS and hope Hopefully my crew members aren't too upset about that. <laughs> awesome, very good. Um, and then one last question. Uh, there's a lot of energy and excitement about NASA's Artemis program and you're part of the Artemis team. 
Uh, do you think there's going to be a resurgence in STEM in youngsters, uh, kind of like what happened with the Apollo program in terms of being sparked by that? Yeah, I think um, one thing about human space exploration has a, a lot of benefits, um, but one of them is certainly humans innately like to explore, and it's something that I think we all connect to. So I think by going um, to the moon on the Artemis programs and eventually taking what we learned from that and going on further to Mars is something that I can't imagine not sparking interest in, in every human being on the planet. Awesome. Well, I wish you the best of luck on your mission. Thank you. Thanks a lot for Take your time. Care. Thank you.